Now, we've heard from many of you asking how you can help the Afghan refugees. Local charity organizations asking the same question tonight. CBS 4's Zach Myers has been checking into this issue. Zach, what are you hearing tonight? Well, the organizations I talked to today say they still don't know specifically what role they may play or how they may be able to help the thousands of refugees coming to Indiana, but they are taking some specific steps to make sure they're ready. As Indiana prepares to receive thousands of Afghan refugees, Brigadier General Dale Lyles says the Indiana National Guard is already seeing an outpouring from those wanting to send donations to Camp Atterbury. We are in the process of setting up a formal method for receiving donations and then processing those donations, inventorying them, and getting them into the right hands of the evacuees. With that process in the works, local charity organizations are preparing to mobilize their efforts. I, I think we have to wait and see what the government is going to be asking us to do, and as well as what we will be allowed to do. Director Nancy Lore Plake says the United Way of Johnson County funds and works with 17 different agencies, including the Salvation Army and the local Red Cross. She believes the biggest needs will involve refugees adjusting to life in America. Will it be educational services? Will it be tutoring? Um, will it be uh, job assistance? At Gleaner's Food Bank, organizers are going through their huge inventory to make sure they have enough items that comply with a halal diet, which follows Islamic teachings. Labeling that in our system so that when we're asked to respond, we can quickly find those items that might be of most value uh, and culturally appropriate. There's going to be a learning curve, I think, for all of us in that um, what what will they need? Plake, who has many years experience in disaster relief, says the urge to rush in and help is natural, but not always helpful. You need to be cautious about running to the situation uh, because sometimes that can create more problems than it can help. And today, the National Guard issued a phone number for those who want to donate. That is 317-247-3559. You can call that number, leave your name and information, and the Guard will get back to you with more about how you can help. And we'll have that number attached to this story on our website. Live in the newsroom, Zach Myers, CBS 4 News.